Okay, here we are. The coolest of cool. A walk through of the old Dallas Civil Defense Emergency Operations Center. Fallout slash bomb shelter. This is the front entrance by the front door of the Holtz Health and Science Museum building. See the big blast over there with the hydraulic cylinder. We're just going to go down the stairs here. There's the main lift cylinder. Coming down the front stairs. Hydraulics, I do believe, still work. At the foot of the entry, front entrance stairs, there's a big steel door that closes. Kind of hard to see, but the light's not working in the stairwell. We turn right into the shelter. Look up the stairs, the blast door, and the old Dallas Civil Defense Operations Center sign. Immediately, as we walk in, there's another kind of door that, another steel door that's more like a regular door. I can't figure out why there's two, but maybe shielding, I don't know. Immediately to the left, when we walk in, there's a bathroom with a shower. And uh, it's going to be kind of hard to see because it's kind of close quarters in here. Small room here. Light's actually working. Cool. Uh, this, I believe, on the map is designated as a dormitory, so I guess there were originally bunks in here. And uh, ventilation system, this folding divider doors. Come in here, and to the right, as you first walk in the shelter, there was the radio room where uh, civil defense, the radios are all gone, unfortunately. Civil defense, fire department, police department, water sanitation, what other departments they had in here, can't remember. There's local water, public works, labels on the on the uh, shelf there, cabinets overhead, ventilators. Uh, this on the map, I believe it says this was radio, RACES, Radio Amateur Civil Emergency Service, was back here. Ventilation comes this through through this room and uh, now some more people have come down here so the uh, they're trying to figure out how the what's wrong with the doors so here's the main operations room the old maps on the wall and uh, I can't remember how the I think this this sliding chalkboard unit was the shelter monitor board and I can't remember which chalkboard that was designated at. Overhead ventilation. Coming through here, there's sliding divider doors there. We're going through the operations room now. I'm trying to stay ahead of these people. This was the RADEF plotting area. There was a map on the wall there. Still a map on the wall here. Uh, it still says RADEF over it. You can see, get that without blowing out the image. But the uh, men's restroom was here. I guess that other rest restroom was officially the light women's restroom. Uh, toilets. There's a lot of water damage in here. There's the exhaust ventilator. I'll make another video of the exhaust blast valve is above this room as far as I can tell. There's uh, I think it goes out that wall and up to that blast valve. Ventilation carries through here. Let's get ahead of these people here. Go in the mechanical room. Mechanical room needs to be two generators here. Uh, the well is down here below this grating. This lens cap out of the well's down there. The uh, hydraulic pumps for the blast doors are right here. Uh, that's, I believe, is a sump pump down there, maybe. Uh, there's the uh, ventilation fans. There's two stages of that, which I try to explain on the site. We'll go through here to the filter filter room. And uh, we're kind of in the southeast corner of the shelter, I think. This is where the air comes in. 
There's the air intake blast valve right there. Escape, cha escape hatch that seals shut the tar. There's the first air filter bank. I'm doing a walkthrough video. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all right. There's the air, first air filter bank. Not sure what this big chamber is for right here. Maybe storage, but I don't know why they'd store stuff in the area where there might be come incoming fallout particles. But that's one I hadn't figured out is why I let empty space up there. But there's kind of a metal wall dividing this room. And uh, there's air filters here. I'm talking to myself. There's a bank air filters here. And there's another ventilation intake up here. I guess that's the front, the first stage ventilation. They can also, right here on this wall, there's another metal wall here with two gas particulate chemical filters. And there's two of those. I don't really see them here. There's one here and one here, and they got covers on them. And there's another uh, air, in, air inlet right there. So as far as I can tell, they could filter their air in two stages. They could come through the main filter system and into the shelter, or they could close this door and turn on this second fan and filter through these two chemical gas filters that are putting, there's notes on here that say, remove this cover when CBR filters are needed to be used. And there's a door here that closes. It says, close this door when CBR filters are to be used. And I guess this door here has got a pretty heavy frame, so I guess they were planning on this door being exposed to blast pressure. And uh, this first fan is quite a bit smaller than the second, I guess, because that second fan would have to pull air through those chemical biological filters. So I've got about two minutes left. I'm going to have to run through this more mechanical stuff here air conditioners here and here go through here this on the plan was titled the mayor's office Let's see if the light works no it doesn't That's the here. Stove in there too. yeah here's the kitchen the lights don't work all right Actually, if you have any technical questions, the guy so in the, the shirt is the technical dude. Piping coming through here. There's two pipes right here, which I believe are the generator exhaust. I haven't found out where those go outdoors yet. Do you know how many square feet this is? No, no. The uh, generator exhaust goes right out into the playground. It's over in the corner. Okay. Yeah, I've never actually tried to look. Here's the two back stairs. One goes up into the building and one goes outside. So we'll go up here, and this is what I call the back exit. And this is propped open with the same hydraulic cylinder. And there's a better view of the blast door right there. And uh, in fact, I'll go outside. I got about a minute left. I don't know if I can get out. I'd have to climb the wall, I think. Darn it. But there's that. Let me run around here. There's that. Exterior blast door. Right here. And it looks like I'm gonna have to make another video. But I'll shoot it over the wall here. This is the air intake blast valve right there that would close with blast pressure. There's another one over there in the corner. You can see that the playground equipment. That's the exhaust. And I'm just about out of time. But uh, I think that's, I hope I covered it all.